What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Y'all, it's been a minute. It's been more than a minute. It's been a month. <laughs> Let's, we need to have a conversation because clearly your girl has not been here, but I've been like present, just not on YouTube. I don't owe explanations to anybody, but I feel like y'all deserve it. So let's, let's chit chat. Let's have a conversation. Before we get any deeper into this vlog, I want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. We have a nice little grocery package and I'd be lying to you if I didn't already start eating them. I think there's like a running joke on this channel that I don't buy groceries and that I don't know how to cook. I do buy groceries, still don't know how to cook, but the grocery aspect we got it covered. Thrive Market is an online grocery shopping platform which pretty much allows you to shop thousands of brands and kind of define what healthy grocery shopping looks like to you. Not me already eating the snacks, crazy. Some dried mangoes, we have chomps beef jerky sticks, we have some different teas in here because you know I love my tea, okay? We have different chips, we have hydration boosters, we have ginger juice, we have a bunch of different non-perishable items that you girls gonna snack on. One of the perks about being a Thrive member is you get to save on every single grocery order and orders over $49 ship for free. Once you go on the Thrive website, you are able to filter the different products that you want based on your lifestyle, based on your grocery interests, what you're looking for, and all those kind of things. So helpful to Thrive Market for making grocery shopping a little bit easier because like, I don't have to leave my house. It comes to me. And there's just so many things to pick from, like brands that you can find in a traditional grocery store. Thrive probably has them. If you are interested in trying out Thrive Market, getting your groceries delivered, finding out different healthy options that fit your lifestyle, I will leave the link down below for 30% off of your first order. And you can receive a free gift up to $60 in value. And y'all know I love me a free little gift. And you get gross play, come on. It's the convenience for me. If you are interested in buying groceries without having to physically go to the grocery store, Thrive is that girl. So clearly, I've been gone for a hot minute. My last vlog was the Lorve brand trip and then I didn't even plan on taking a break. It kind of just happened. The last vlog I posted was the Lorve brand trip and I had no intention of taking a break. Honestly, after that vlog, I was just exhausted and I'm like, okay, let's take a week off. And then one week turned into two weeks, two weeks turned into three weeks, three weeks turned into a month. And honestly, I'm getting to a point in my life where I am prioritizing rest because I've burnt myself out on multiple occasions and it is not fun for me, it's not fun for y'all, where I feel like I am grasping at air, okay, pulling at strings to post videos. And don't get me wrong, I love what I do, I want to do it for the rest of my life, but you gotta know when to stop, okay? Like, you gotta know when to take your mental health days, have your resets, have your breaks, and I just needed one. There's no beef, there's no tea, I'm not depressed, not this time, I'm actually in a very good spot mentally, which is, so the title of this video, I'm moving, potentially. I'm like 85% sure I'm moving and there's like a whole backstory to all of this. So obviously I moved to Houston in September of last year. It is so crazy to me that we're already almost a year in. And honestly, I stuck it out because y'all know at the very beginning it was touch and go. I was ready to pack up everything and just book it back to Colorado. There's just so much, there's so much. I mean, there's a long version, which we can dive into on a different day, but short story, when I moved, I do think the timing was right. I don't believe the city was right because I moved out here because I used to come out here to party. Long story short, there was a romantic interest I had out here and I'm like, yeah, it fits. And then right when I moved, none of those things were of interest to me anymore. And I was miserable and heartbroken and sad and, there's a lot that goes into that, but told myself I'm gonna give Houston a year. If I don't like it, we'll explore different options. And I'm like, okay, this year is coming up. And although I have figured out like my routine, I've gotten like a church I let go into. There's like four gyms I keep in my rotation. You know, I do my own thing out here. I'm not my happiest self out here. I mean, I'm happy. I've grown to be very content and happy with the relationship I'm building with God and like, being happy on my own period. But I was talking to someone in the gym and she pretty much told me life is to be enjoyed, not endured. And I had like a brain shift where I'm like, why am I trying to tough it out in Houston when I don't have to? Like, who am I proving a point to by being out here? Nobody. And I don't care what 
the internet or what anyone else to say about that it's my choice and it's my life and i'm gonna live it for me and i don't know why people get so angry when people make choices for themselves like it doesn't impact you i decided that i want to move um i was praying about it i was like god i don't know what to do i don't know where to go and it's one of those things where i know with houston i did hear from god clearly that i needed to move but Houston was like, it was honestly, it shouldn't have happened anyway. And I wish I would have used my discernment a little bit better. And I knew, I knew better. I just didn't do better. But I'm like, God, I don't know where to go because I love being in my own space. I feel like I've grown so much just having the independence and like the maturity that's associated with living on your own. Like, yeah, I'd be naked in this place. Whenever I'm not on camera, what are clothes? And I love the liberty of being able to walk room to room naked and no one can tell me anything. Watching Netflix till five in the morning, no one can say anything. I can play my house music as loud as I want to and don't have to worry about waking up my siblings. Like, I love living by myself. It's, it's so good. It's, I'm in a space where it's just me in the picture. I ain't got no roommates, I ain't got no man, I ain't got no kids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap into it. I'm gonna wring this era dry. The final straw for me with Houston was the hurricane. I'm not cut out for hurricanes. I'm sorry. I don't know how y'all do it. Louisiana, Florida, Houston, y'all are truly built different because that hurricane hit, I said, yeah. <laughs> Close the curtain, I'm done. Obviously I wasn't prepared well, but what if I was here during a hurricane and thankfully, the area that I live in wasn't like touched, but it was close. The power was out for like almost a week and a half. There was no food, there was no water. I was lucky enough to have been in Colorado at the time. So thank God that I was out there. But after that hurricane, I really had an assessment with myself and being close to my family means so much to me. Like I am so rooted and grounded in my family. Y'all know this, whenever I'm around my family, I just light up completely and I need to be around them and that's just something I don't know while I have them here I want to enjoy it because again who am I trying to prove a point to by sitting here by myself when I don't have to I initially thought about moving to Dallas just because I'm thinking you know maybe Texas will give it a try I was talking to my friend Christiana she was like yeah we don't get hurricanes in Dallas and then one of my friends from high school her parents live in Dallas and they have good things to say about it but it just didn't feel right like Dallas was not sitting well in my spirit. I'm glad because I was actually gonna drive to Dallas today to go look at places, but God was like, don't do it. And then I had this revelation. God said, just go back to Colorado. And for multiple reasons, so obviously my family, two, with everything that's happening with my business. So we're rebranding. It's called Biblical The Brand for now. We're taking a major shift here soon i don't want to tell you what the name is if you guess leave some guesses down below and if you guess i will give you one of every drop for the rest of the year i think that's good i feel like that's a good idea if you have any ideas of what it's called drop them down below because i'm curious to see if any of y'all know it i've said it before and i've posted it before but yeah anyway with the direction that god is taking that he Y'all, I feel like between my clothing brand and the podcast, I feel like that is truly where God has me. And it feels so good to just walk in your purpose and knowing that you are doing exactly what God told you to do. Bigger than I expected, I need a lot more space. Like I'm looking at warehouses in Colorado and I got a tax exempt number in Colorado. So baby, cause it's a religious organization. Can it do it? No taxes. It just makes sense to live in Colorado. So we are actually about to catch a flight. I have an Uber coming in. He's probably here because I scheduled it. Let me see. They'll wait for you until 1025, period. It is 1015, so I should probably go. But we are gonna go look at some places in Colorado tomorrow. We're gonna look at warehouses. We're gonna see my family. And I'm just excited and I'm praying that God works it out. And from what I've learned in the past, I'm not forcing a single thing. I know that if God wants me to follow through with this, it'll work out. Like I saw a TikTok where this girl was like, um, this doesn't like apply, but pretty much she was saying how <laughs> you went out and you saw that dude you used to talk to. And you're like, God, it's a sign because we're in the same room together. 
No, it's not a sign because you manipulated the outcome. Watching that video, I realized no matter if it's a relationship, my business, my life, where I choose to live, whatever the case may be, stop manipulating the outcome. Like, you know it's of God if it just happens. God is omniscient, meaning he's all knowing. He's master orchestrator. He can put pieces together out of nothing. So why am I trying to manipulate the situation and then be like, God, is it from you? It feels like a sign. It's not a sign. It's a sign that you shouldn't be doing it. I've grown a lot spiritually and I know like I have better discernment now. I can hear God clearer now. I know a little bit more when God is telling me to do something versus when God's telling me not to do something. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let it be what it is. I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna put the ball in God's court where he wants it to be. And when he says go, I'm gonna be ready. And that's all you can do. My Uber is getting here, so I'm gonna go. Um, I will see y'all in the box state in Colorado. We get to see my son, y'all. I bought him some beef jerky. He's gonna love it. Ugh, I love that little dog so much. Okay, let me go, because I don't want this man to leave. vlog so sorry my dad's on the phone with my grandma so if you hear that that's what's happening but we are leaving to tour the places um it is almost 11 and the tour starts at 11 it's fine the hair y'all i did um i cut it yesterday got it nice and curly in his outfit super cute i'm excited but i'm also really tired and um I'll explain later. All right, so but you need, you need milk. Everything with my clothing brand, y'all. Running a business is not for the weak because you're gonna take expect unexpected thousand dollar losses, which is fun. But we'll talk about that later. Oh, now they call me. I seen them. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They ain't not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Borettas. Yeah, yeah. They getting nervous. I seen it. What I seen, you wouldn't believe. Like I dropped out of class Get in my lane and I'm going right past I turn it up, watch me go to the max You ain't the first and you know that you last I thought I told him I'm coming right back I got a flows like it came from the tap And I came from my city, this right on my back Back and I'm better than ever I think I got a vendetta Oh now they call me, I seen them All of those times getting severed I told them all I can let up They get not tired of me never Give me a shot and I oof I swear I shoot like Berettas Back and I'm better than ever I think I got a vendetta Oh, now they call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Yeah. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Berettas. That's how I shoot. Lately I'm driven like I'm on the road. They in my land, I got told them to move. Now that I'm popping, got too much to lose. Look at the numbers, got nothing to prove. I'm in the city, just me and my crew. Told me I'm sick and I know that it's true, but I'm still gonna bar. It's like I got a flu. Yeah, run it up, I told them that I'm coming back. So let me get all of that. Time is now, I'm coming around to get a check.
I accidentally muted my camera, so I'm gonna try to do a voiceover by reading my own lips. But pretty much, I was saying how at this point we tore two buildings. The first one, not my speed at all. The second one, like, why were they giving out penthouses like it was free candy? I'm like, y'all, stop playing with me because just take my money. Like, I'll move tomorrow. I definitely like the vibe of that place for sure. Definitely fit my aesthetic. And now we're gonna do a little outfit check. We have this Christlike jersey, which is from the Christlike collection. These shorts from H&M, which I don't like because they don't stay down. Not a fan. The Nike Speardron, Speardon shoes, whatever. I call them my dad golf shoes. And then lots of jewelry. My dad wanted to show y'all his cufflinks because he said my mom was dressed up. So he went and dressed up and <laughs> this man got on a whole dresser. His nice watch, cufflinks, some slacks. But then, you know, Pastor Frank Jones had to put on his Jesus hat and some Skechers. It's so dad coded, but I'm here for it. We are back. We've been back for a while. It's going on 5.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna make this very quick because I'm tired and I'm gonna go to sleep. The search went very well. There was a few places that I really liked. Three that I'm actually considering moving into that I did not show on camera at all just because too many people know where I live in Houston and it is such a, like a big safety hazard and honestly like an ick when people are telling you where you live. Like that's weird. Don't be a weirdo. And I just, I don't like people knowing where I'm at like that bothers me especially because I'm so introverted I definitely want to come back and tour places because I didn't get to see like every floor plan that I wanted so I definitely want to like you know come back get like a more in-depth tour of just basically the floor plans that I'm interested in but I'm excited it feels correct living out here like I love so far so good like I'm really not mad at it fingers crossed before Thanksgiving I can move back that's like the plan but I'm not like in a rush or anything like that so we'll just we'll see how it goes for the rest of this vlog though while i was taking like my break i guess you could call it i still did vlog a few other things that we're gonna insert right now flashback good afternoon everybody this sunday today is podcast launch day merch launch day it's just a launch 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 <laughs> i've been up all night all day trying to get the website finished i went and had a photo shoot last night so i look a ooh, ooh. I forgot I picked my eyelashes out. I think this is a new level of humble <laughs> to be on the internet. This lash looks crazy. I have like two more in here that I'm gonna get out, but it's fine. I look like Cynthia. I am looking at my Shopify right now. Y'all don't make me cry today. Please don't make me cry today. We have already sold 300 things. Why y'all move so fast? Like, why? Why y'all? Why y'all move so fast? Stop, y'all stop. Active carts. There's 80 active carts. 54 people are checking out, and 23 people have already purchased. 25. It just went up. Oh my gosh! I don't know how to act right now. I was not expecting this. I literally told my mom. I was like, Mom. I just want to sell 100. Like, that's really all I want. I gotta FaceTime my mom. Hold on. Mommy! Oh, you answered! Oh, you're in Kansas. Hi. I was expecting you to be in Colorado. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. 
Tuesday, it's Tuesday. If you know, you know. <laughs> but um, we are just running errands, getting things done, knocking off things on the to-do list. Y'all, I feel like, I feel like, when I first moved to Texas, I like had nothing to do but complain and be sad and I asked God to occupy my time. And here we are. I don't even have time to sleep these days. But honestly, I'm not complaining because I'd rather be booked and busy than bored and I need another B word, borderline depressed. No, <laughs> but let me tell you something, that depression is no joke, okay? Trust, we know her too well. I just went and picked up a few packages in my Lorve tote. Prepare to be sick of me, because actually you already know what the vibe is. There's, it's always Lorve over here. A new label printer, because the one I had, she decided last night was her, the end of her lifespan. I was up till 4 a.m. last night packing these orders. I think there's probably like, uh, maybe like 50, 60 in there. So not too many at all, but it's like stressful, but it's kind of fun like packing orders and doing that. Like, I love it. But I was talking to my mom and I don't know if I told y'all yesterday, but the scale of my brand, I don't even like saying my brand, our brand, God's brand. Cause my sounds like, it doesn't sound right. I don't like the way that sounds. The scale of the brand is gonna be warehouse very soon because this was a pre-order so I don't have the items like on me, you know what I'm saying? I only have those because I needed it for the photo shoot and I was like, well, let me just get a hundred of each and whatever happens, happens. But moving forward, I don't think I wanna do pre-orders just because I know now I have like um, a feel for like the sizes, the size range of my clientele because baby is real inclusive over here. But now I'm gonna order set quantities and if it sells out, it sells out, like that's it. I can't keep all that stuff in my apartment. Like there's no way in the world. So we might have to look into getting a warehouse or like um, an office space just to run this business out of because there's no way in the world it can stay here. Like it, it just, it won't happen. Running a business out of Texas was never a goal of mine. Just knowing like the business end of things, it's cheaper to do out of Colorado because you know, I know a couple things. But anyway, we got our handy dandy label printer. And then I ordered some jewelry. You store like super big, flashy statement jewelry and there's nothing wrong with that, but I wanna diversify. I promise I'm gonna get better at linking things because I just forget, you know, but I get my little commission, my little two cents off of every purchase. So I'm gonna start linking things, I promise. And if I forget, there's always gonna be someone who says, Talitha, where's the link at? So. Be that person, please. But like, look how pretty. I love it. This one, obviously like we wouldn't wear these together, but once I get like the the layout correct, it's gonna eat y'all. It's gonna eat the girls down. On my agenda for today, one, package all of these things, print the labels. I don't know how I'm gonna get all this into my car. I think I have a box lying around here somewhere. Send these off just to get the first round of orders out. And then Bible study. I don't know what order these things are gonna happen, but I want them to all happen at some point today. Um, so packages, Bible studies at 715. So I mean, I don't know y'all, I haven't really been feeling like going. And I honestly think it's because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I have not been motivated to open my Bible, to read my Bible, to go to Bible study. Like I've been praying like crazy, but like as far as opening up the physical word, I've been like, nah, I'm good. So I'm like forcing myself to do it just because I know that it's like the gym. The hardest part is going. And then obviously I wanna work out at some point today. Might make my way over to Alpha Land just because it's right by the church I go to. And then I need to go grocery shopping. All this traveling has really messed up. Like y'all, the there is literally um, old lettuce in there. And then turkey sausage that my mom left here. <laughs> and then in the freezer, lots of frozen fruits for like smoothies and stuff, but that's not a meal, you know? And I think that's everything. I have to film, oh my gosh, y'all. Then I wanna plan out podcast episodes. Oh, also, the podcast is now available on Spotify. I am working on getting it on Apple just because Apple's being a little more tricky but she's on Spotify and she's on YouTube. So search Biblical Baddy Podcast. If you're, um, you know, you wanna listen, I did drop the intro episode and then episodes will be up every Sunday just as vlogs are. So make sure you go check that out. Last thing, <laughs> doing a lot of talking today. I figured out why it kept getting deleted. And I think it's because someone with a similar brand was reporting it because it's a similar brand name and they didn't like, want their brand to be overtaken by my brand, which is completely understandable, like I get it, but I would appreciate 
reaching out. I've reached out to the person and hopefully we're able to cease fire. <laughs> but anyway, let's figure out how to work this label printer because I am an influencer, whatever, but I don't know how to use nothing. I just press the buttons and figure it out as I go. My parents are leaving. You guys remember how I told you I bought them a trip to Aruba for their anniversary? It is time for their their trip. <laughs> you excited? Yes. Are you excited? Dad? A little nervous. I'm excited. Yes, I am. Do you want to give a word before you leave? Yes. Anything You're particular? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You talked about purpose today at church. Okay, well, we'll cover purpose. Um, purpose. If you have an object and you misuse it or abuse it, you don't use it for the intended purposes, it's called misuse or abuse. When we talk about God's purpose for us, God's placed something valuable inside of us, His Spirit. If we don't use our lives according to His purpose, we are misusing and abusing the life He's given us. Purpose. When we do things God's way, in His will, Things will flow, gates will open. Doesn't say you won't have any problems, but your purpose will override any problem. Purpose. Well, thanks, Father. Sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, I got three of them for you. Romans 8, 28, Jeremiah yes. 29, 11, and Romans 12, 1 and 2. <laughs> okay, bye, vlog. Later. Now we're gonna go run some errands. It's cold in here. Y'all be blasting the AC. Here is the outfit for today. I really like this dress, but it's I can't walk in it. Y'all, why did Fashion Nova make these things so tight? This is something you wear when you ain't doing a lot of walking because like a penguin. I had on a black dress. I think I might change because I can't walk in this and I'm going to get irritated very fast. Put on this dress from Yiddy, which is pretty much the same thing, but it has like a slit in the back so I can actually walk, you know? On the agenda for today is I'm taking some shoes to my friend Eddie. He's like my, I only have two friends in Houston, Eddie and Joy, and it sucks because I might be leaving them. We'll see. Honestly, I think it's kind of sad that I only have two friends here, but regardless of the point, I literally cleaned out my shoes, my entire closet, yet again, and <clears throat> he wears the same shoe size as me in women's, so I'm like, hey, I have all these boots, if you want them, they're yours, and he's like, yes, please, so I'm gonna take those shoes to him, and then I wanna go to at home and get more, like, bins, like this one, because clearly, those heels don't have a place to go. I finally organized the closet in here. This is the thigh-high boots I'm keeping, which is not that many considering what I used to have. 
and there was like a giant box here just filled with stuff that i never unpacked so finally cleared that out organized the boots got rid of a bunch of jackets that i didn't wear went through all this stuff yesterday pretty much i don't want to say deep cleaned but got rid of everything i had a very honest conversation with myself about like what are you actually going to wear if you're not already wearing it or you have plans to wear it like get rid of it i'm i don't know i think i've outgrown having a lot of stuff i still have a lot of stuff but the amount of stuff i had before was just ridiculous and i don't know why i was holding on to all those things but i don't want it so we're taking shoes to him and then we're gonna go to Plato's closet and then we're gonna go to at home and then i want to get a margarita from this taco place called la calle and then i want to sit on my couch and watch love island i think that's the plan for the night i think that's what it is and there he goes you probably can't even see him but walking with that big old trash bag not the jump <laughs> you probably can't even see him that is one errand checked off the list now we're gonna go to Plato's closet which honestly i'm really want this stuff gone and whatever play-dohs doesn't take i'm just gonna take to goodwill there's so much stuff oh my gosh so that's like the part i'm not looking forward to is bringing all that stuff in and hopefully they don't have a limit because there's literally four bags which is crazy but let's see how far is it We are at at home and they have ugh, this candle oak my favorite thing on the planet and then this one is really good too sands this is my favorite favorite We are back from running errands. Low-key Plato's closet kind of irritated me because why didn't they take all my stuff? <laughs> Pretty much everything in there was new and cute. So take it all, like I don't want it. I'm gonna go to a different Plato's closet tomorrow and they only had a two bag limit. So I couldn't even give half the stuff to them. So we're gonna try a different one tomorrow. Y'all, I got my margarita and the margarita, I didn't even drink it yet, but it already won. Like, I'm already tired and I know that when I get a little, I don't even say drunk, but when I get tipsy or intoxicated, I either get full of energy or I'm ready to go to bed. And this is giving tired, tired tipsy. So this is how you know, cause I'm about to take, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Once the lashes come off, me and that couch are about to go together real bad. We're about to take a little nap. We're gonna eat our sandwich, okay? We got a little sandwich, sweet potato fries. I got some, y'all, I don't know why this makes me so happy. I bought this truffle ketchup. I don't even like ketchup, but if it has truffle in it. Y'all, I am on a um, grocery subscription with Thrive Market. They actually sponsored this video, but like, I loved it. So I kept ordering stuff. I don't even like ketchup, but if it has truffle, Praise the Lord, saints. <laughs> Who made this? You did a great job. Y'all, we got in our RuPaul's Drag Race robe. We're about to sit on the couch and watch RuPaul's Drag Race. The smallest things make me happy, like food, your favorite show. Like, that is, that is happiness to me. Like, that feeling, you can't beat it. The margarita is about to take me. You gotta take the lens cap off. Oh. 
<laughs> Unboxing time. With my new lashes. Her wings. Let it fly away. Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say hi to my vlog? The last time I did, the comments were some else. <laughs> Come on, you're the reason I'm home. The cougars. I'm yeah. like old for me. Here's my sister. What's up, vlog? I'm the the best brother Talitha had. This is our stupid dog. So Talitha. That is so close to my face. Talitha. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so close to me? So how are you gonna go on all these trips, right? Uh-huh. But you can't come to Kansas. Well, see. Huh? <laughs> Explain. First of all, it's so close. I don't think it needs to be that close. I can come to Kansas. Why you don't? You want me to come to Kansas? No. Okay. Still, it's a thought that counts. You want me to come visit you, Timothy? No. I can. Ew. It's like what six-hour drive from here? Yeah. Three the way you make it. Yeah. Dang, this camera's nice. Thank you. So this is what you do when you vlog? You just talk. Yeah. Yeah. You just tell people what you're doing and. What you're eating, where you're going. What are you eating? I'm about to make a smoothie. A smoothie? What's yeah. in the bag? Fruit. Crunch berries. Crunch berries. You know where oh, that one from? Crunch berries. What's yeah. in the box? Crunch berries. <laughs> damn. What's this? Oh, you have it. man fingers. You already got it. I lose. Boom. Too easy. You no, know, there's another bag. And with this bag, <laughs> you grab it right here. Right? Uh huh. You just oh my gosh. Eat that. Eat that thing. What the heck is this? Too much drugs? Ginger. They're not drugs. It's mm. good for you. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Drugs are bad. Oh, That's why me. I only drink. Uh, Timothy. <laughs> You're not. Wait, are you 21? Finally. What do you mean, finally? I got a horizontal license. <laughs> All right, vlog. So, first step you grab the ingredients. We got the mango chunks. Pineapple chunks, destiny, and ginger. We don't like ginger. Man, we're also gonna put some of this in here. This will crack you out. What? Whoa, what is that? Wick mode. Is it pre workout? Yeah. Can I try it? You gotta dry skip it though. Why? Because that's what I do. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna do that. You grab the hammer and you beat that thing. Pop it too. Well, in that case, you put it in the microwave. Oh, this is uh, easy. Hey, Mr. Beast, hit me up. I can film your videos. Nope. You nuke it for 30 seconds. You are so in the army. <laughs> <laughs> See that? This ain't got no preservatives. That's why it tastes bad. Uh, and it's vegan. My bad. Shout out to all the vegans out there. Keep doing your thing so I can eat more meat. Pause! <laughs> Just keep eating it. I can't. Can you break it? For me? Beat that thing. I got an idea. You gonna throw it outside? Yeah. You go outside. You grab that thing. Get a Ziploc bag or something. This used to be a nice place when you used to have the horses, but now they put these in warehouses and shit. God, bro, I hate these warehouses. I'm gonna blow them up. Sorry, now that was a joke. Legally, that was a joke. <coughs> so you grab that thing and you hit them with the yeet. Oh. Kind of crick at the camera. Oh yeah, one more should do it. Ooh, that one. That one has some hang time. You know, <laughs> you know how many people yeah. would watch you? Zero. A lot. No, let me tell you something. When you are a man and you are a good-looking man, they don't care what you do. All right, what's next? I need to find the blender cup, but I don't know where it's at. Maybe in here. Hey, chat. Y'all see it, chat? Dubs in the chat, chat. Ooh. Watch, if I find this, you owe me 500. Hey, Isn't it in the sink chat? All of Houston's It's gonna be like Dora. Don't they style a cup? Let me see, like, the, the big buddy doing your. Oh, look. Chat. Good job, Timothy. <laughs> I told you if I find it, that's 500. Uh, we'll add it to my tab. Tab? Yeah. You put the mangoes or the pineapples. That didn't happen. I got something that'll make it 10 times better. No, this is not that It's only like a shot. This is, no, you know how much calories are in alcohol? Fine. You Guess we'll use that. tequila. See that? You pull it up to the max of the fruits. 
Because when you blend it, it goes down. Science. Yeah. And then you take your ginger, because ginger is good for you. Yeah. And you put, I put four. Usually I put six. Looks like alien eggs. Come on, the chef. And then you put turmeric. That's also good for you. You can't even taste it. Yes, you can. No, you can't. I can smell it. Not in there, you can't. Minus the little eggs. It looks good so far. <laughs> Minus the two. Maybe. Spinach! You can't taste it! Oh. Come on. You're being a hater. Chat, she bugging. No, I'm not. Not. It had potential. You're gonna try it? And she wanted to put grass in it. <laughs> I'm gonna make you try it. And then. beans and stuff in it. What's and next? then what's next is <laughs> honey. Some watermelon. Ew. Watermelon does not mix with that. You think spinach does? You can't taste it. All right, we got the honey. Tell me to stop. You look like you're struggling. <laughs> uh, a little more. Stop. Stop. <laughs> there we go. You got to balance it out because all the other nasty stuff you put in. It smells that bad. And then you put the chia seeds. Chia seeds? Like yeah. the chia pit? Sure. Bro, what the? It's good. It's good for you. She been hanging out too much with the white people. Actually, I haven't, and I kind of miss it. You miss the white people? Yeah, because yeah. they got boats. The white people know how to act. You ain't got to worry about getting shot with white people. Exactly. Want to say your girlfriend? No. <laughs> Hell no. Ugh. Looks like a fish tank. <laughs> Give it a little shaky shake. And then you put it on the blender. Damn, bro. We're calling my phone. Now, if you ain't gonna do all that extra stuff, you just go in the freezer or the fridge, and pop out one of these bad boys. Yeah, fair life, 42 grams. Come on now, quit playing with me. We don't care about the cows over here, we just care about the gains. It's the fair life, because they be having some allegations that they be treating the cows wrong. But it's fair. Yeah, fair life, it's in the name. It's just like them turtles. You didn't You're not even facing the camera. Dang, well, the lighting to be the, is bad. You have to come this creator. way. Like here. You're supposed to be the influencer, right? I am. Guess. Don't you influence if people are poison themselves. Look at that. Ew, it needs to be blended. Looks like mustard. Green mustard? Like the Dijon mustard. <laughs> How does it feel to be a sergeant? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Alright, chat. This is the end result. Was it a dub or an L? I think it's an L. It's really good. Not gonna lie. Look all those green chunks of. You're a green chunky hater. He was clowning on my smoothie, but y'all already know what it is. We can't open it. Hater. You wanna try it? Hell no. I'll do it for 20 bucks. If you can eat military food, you I can ain't eat. eating that. Looks like baby food. Just try it. It's not bad, Timothy. Eat it. <laughs> It's gonna <laughs> almost don't spill it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna spill it on you. <laughs> Stop it! Help! Help! Tiberius, help me! How about if the dog tries it? You gotta try it. Too. He ain't even gonna sniff it. Yes, he will. Look. Buddy, you wanna try it? Look at that. Yeah. See, he'll real one. Try it. Go ahead. Give it a lick. See? Ew, never mind. He eats bugs. So I don't care. <laughs> If he eats bugs, he eats that. Timothy, you've also eaten bugs. No, I haven't. And dog food. No, I haven't. It was a treat, but it tasted like bacon. <laughs> so it doesn't count. I won't force you to try it. It's good though. Dang, you dark. Whoa. It's whoa. the lighting. We'll blame the lighting. There we go. D you didn't want to blame the what lighting. What a beautiful chocolate man. What a beautiful chocolate man. Is this part of the phone case? Yeah. Well, now it is. I super glued it on. Because if you know, you know. Only real ones know. Dang, focus, bruh. Only real ones know. Oh, you finally got a bigger phone. Oh, this is how you know you're in the army. You can tell by the time. That's an army thing. The whole world uses it, bud. No. Buddy. Just the army. You wouldn't know because you've never been to Europe. I haven't, you're right. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I didn't go to Europe to serve a country that doesn't like me. They love me here. That's why they give me discounts. Okay. Haha. <laughs> you never been to Europe. I have. Yeah, for war. 
No. I wasn't participating in the war. <laughs> well, that's why you went, though. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, smoothie. You're just a hater. Look at it, bro. I done blended all the way. Look at the chunks. I'm telling you, you should start a YouTube channel. The girls would love you. I'm good. No, you are doing me. They're not gonna like the top one until I post. I'm telling you, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. When I go on there and talk about how. Sorry for calling my after our other call. Just wanted to fill you in. Alright, bye, chat. Tiberius, you wanna be in my vlog, buddy? You know, I talk about my son often. This is the son in question. He eating some grass. Does it taste good? He does this thing where he gets on camera and then catches an attitude. You wanna be in the camera, buddy? <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. You don't care about the vlog. It's okay. I love ya. I love ya, Tiberius. Oh man. Y'all. <laughs> Hey, 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 get it out. Oh no, mom, there's a nest. There's a wasp nest. End of flashback. All right, y'all, we are going to end the vlog here. I'm sorry, I'm actually not sorry. It was all over the place, but I just wanted to show y'all what I was doing, where I've been, really a lot of back and forth between Houston and Denver. Hopefully it ends because I'm trying to come back home, y'all. Like I really just want to, want to thrive in not in my comfort zone but like thrive in a I don't know I don't know how to explain it because I'll still be far out of my comfort zone because I realize like moving back I'm not gonna fall back into my old routine we're not doing that I'm gonna switch it up I'm gonna treat Denver like I haven't lived here my whole life but like I'm gonna find new gyms new churches new like things to do I'm gonna treat it like I didn't grow up here and I feel like that will help me also continue to just keep pushing forward. But that is the end of this vlog. I did do a giveaway in my last video where I was giving away pairs of Lorve glasses. So there's four people's names on the screen. I will DM all of you on Instagram. Congratulations, we're all winning. But I think that's it. We're gonna go back to our Instagram post shout out. So if you want a shout out from me, I forget what the emoji was. I think it was the heart, cause I had y'all always complete the heart. And the fly, you already know the vibes. I think it's just the heart. Comment some hearts and I'll know that you're here from YouTube, but I love y'all. I will see you on Sunday. Usually I don't upload on Wednesdays, so don't don't get used to that. Um, honestly, to be, to be completely honest with y'all, I just had a sponsorship that had to go live, so we uploaded it today. But yeah, I love y'all. I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Also, next week I'm doing a Q&A and like a life update, debrief, all that. So if you have questions that you want me to answer, leave them in the comments. But I love y'all and I will see you on Sunday with a new one. Bye guys.